Okay, so um, uh, just to keep everybody updated, I um, hope, uh, hope you can hear me okay because I am in the ER. Um, yeah, the, uh, the stent procedure went fine. I, uh, I went in uh, at 8.30 this morning. Uh, they started around 9.30. I was out for all of it. I don't know where I needed it. Uh, I woke up um, around about noon-ish, I think. Um, and um, after resting for about an hour, I got up. Um, the surgeon said everything was, you know, everything went completely normal. Um, and then I, I went to the bathroom and I passed blood. Um, the surgeon said that that was actually pretty much okay. That was, that was normal to pass a little bit of blood first at first. So didn't think anything of it. Um, so uh, my, uh, my friend who gave me uh, the ride uh, to and from, uh, we went to the supermarket uh, and to pick up some groceries. I have to be on a diet now, a special diet because of the stint in my whole life. Um, and uh, and while I was while we were at the uh, supermarket, I had to go again, and I asked more blood. So I called the surgeon. Uh, I left a message, uh, and uh, we paid for the groceries, took them home. I had to go again, and I asked more blood. Uh, by this time, the surgeon called and said, "Go to the ER." So we went. Um, while in the waiting room, which took an ungodly amount of time, um, I went twice more and passed more blood. So that was five times that I had passed blood. Um, so uh, finally, I got into the, into the ER, uh, into the ER proper, which is where I am right now. And um, they, uh, the surgeon was waiting for me and sat down and talked to me and uh, said, most likely, it's not a perforated bowel. Uh, the stent did not rupture the, uh, the wall of my colon, most likely. Um, they, uh, they took blood. Um, they're going to uh, take me in for a CT scan uh, to see what's going on in there. But more than likely, the stent, which I don't know if you know what a stent looks like, it's basically like a Chinese finger trap made of wires. Um, and uh, the wires are cutting into, this is what the surgeon thinks, the wires are cutting into the, uh, the tumor, uh, and that's causing the bleeding, um, which is not unheard of. So, but uh, they, um, they want to make absolutely certain that you know, it's nothing serious. So they've admitted me, and I'm going to be here overnight. Uh, so that's where, that's where things are for now. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I mean, other than, you know, everybody here has been amazing. The surgeon was amazing. He, he was, like, really, uh, really nice, really kind, uh, and very uh, helpful in answering all my questions. Uh, the nurse that assisted him came to the ER just to check on me to make sure I was okay, which I thought was phenomenal. Um, the nurses and doctors here at the ER have been just absolutely great. Um, and, and I'm, I feel I feel very safe, and I feel very uh, confident that this is that this isn't anything major. Uh, so, um, so yeah, that's that's where those things stand. Um, gonna uh, like I said, they're gonna get me for a, a CT scan for a little while here, and then they're gonna put me in my own room, and that'll be that'll be it for the night. Um, the only thing that really sucks is I haven't had anything to eat or drink since nine o'clock last night. And they aren't letting me. I can't. I can't have anything to eat or drink until tomorrow. So there's that. Uh, yay. Um, I mean, add to that the fact that I've had nothing but liquids to, to uh, drink all day yesterday. I am very hungry. Uh, I could really go for uh, like literally any food right now. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, and I will uh, post again. One side. Wait, what's this one? Take care. Parents.